Hello, I'm Tash the Minion and this is another episode of my beginner's guide to the long dark. Today we're going to take a quick look at Bleak Inlet. <clears throat> so we're accessing Bleak through the ravine um, which will bring us into Upper Bleak Inlet. When you come through we're immediately faced with this, these two log bridges. So we've got one here and then another one here. Get on, there we go. Okay, we'll go down to the, the where the stumpy bit is and then we want to go uh, immediate left and up this bank here. Now sorry it's a bit foggy today. Uh, bleak is, <laughs> it's pretty bleak to be honest. Um, so go down, down the mound. Keep to the left, keep on the snow. It is pretty foggy, I'm sorry guys. This is TLD for you, we can't trust the weather. And then we get onto kind of a bit of a path way here. There is a cave here if we want to take shelter for any reason. I'm going to go and just see if I can get that weather to clear a bit. Right. I couldn't clear the fog that much. So there's that safe cave there. Uh, we came down from here so if we come down and we came from up there so if you come down and head right This is where we came down from. You can see our footprints. So actually it's more straight on than right. Apologies guys. Keep following it down. Now as I say, this is the upper level of, of Bleak. And you really need to come here first before you go to the lower level. You can't access the upper level without going to the, the lower level. And if you see there, there's a kind of a lookout tower to the left of the screen. That's where we're heading. Now, this region has timber wolves. Luckily, we're in Pilgrim, so they're not going to bother us. Um, but in all other levels you will constantly be attacked by timber wolves I recommend uh, a youtuber called Bashro um, his YouTube is in my uh, description for the video um, he's made a very comprehensive and useful video on dealing with timber wolves so we want to get up there. And the reason why we want to get to this tower, and let's hope we have better luck than we did finding the rope for the drop down in the ravine, is because we need a rope. Once once you've applied the rope mm. 
this will make traversing between the upper and lower levels a lot easier and then it won't matter which way you go into uh, Blink Inlet but you need this rope if you go in from the lower level one you won't be able to access the cannery and two you won't be able to tra traverse to the upper level so the rope is usually hanging up here so we'll take that I'm not going to go inside I'm, I don't want to do too many spoilers but I do I just wanted to give you some hints and tips for this region it can be difficult to navigate it around so we'll go back down the route that we just walked up Here we have one of these mountaineering uh, ro uh, rocks for deploying your rope. Once your rope is on, you will be able to, ver to traverse between the upper and lower levels. Now. I try not to give spoilers as much as as, as much as possible. Um, so if you if you don't want to hear a spoiler, um, I suggest you you mute or, or or leave the video. Okay. The the lower level of Bleak has a cannery and some outbuildings. Now the cannery can only be accessed by a digi digital code uh, code pad during an aurora. And you have to get a, the code from one of the buildings in this location. The building that you need to get it from is the radio tower and it is in the upper part of Bleak. So before you go to the cannery, you're going to want to get the code from the radio tower. And this is why I've done the upper level of Bleak um, in the main. So when you come out of the, the lookout, kind of heading in this direction where the walls have been. And we're going to follow this all the way down to the road. I'm not going to take you all the way to the tower. I just wanted to show you where you need it to go. Then if you go straight ahead, follow the road, see the stairs in the distance, that is where you're heading. Once you've got your code, you would come back to this way and as you come under this uh, square kind of archway, you would head back up through the trees So keep this this big rock. Go to the the right of it. Keep the big right on your left, and then we've got the lookout tower that way.
once you've got that code come back up to this way go to the rope climb marked by this tree kind of pointing that this is the way to go and then you can traverse the road there is a road in the distance there that you can see on the lower level um, there's a broken lighthouse there and then not visible from here but you need to follow the road round to the right it's a beautiful region it's just a pain with all the the timber walls and the weather can turn quite quickly as well it can be quite cold and quite windy now access to bleak inlet from the on the lower level is done via forlorn muskag uh, have a bit of a walk around when you come out of the transition cave you need to stick to the right there can be a moose here so be careful um, you can see uh, there's a bridge over in the distance you can sometimes see the radio tower from here let's take a look yeah so that's the radio tower where you would have got the code from that's on the upper level can't quite see the pensive lookout from from here I don't think so it's a bit further back so now to get over to the cannery which I think if we go a bit further we can see that in the distance as I said you need to get the code for the first time now once you've unlocked that door once you don't you don't have to unlock it again the cannery is over there but between here and there is a lot of pretty dangerous ice uh, you will go through the ice if you walk on it so you need to find a pretty safe route to try and get across Look out for trees like these. These are good markers. They are pointing in directions that you should go to find maybe a cave or a building or it's the direction that you need to travel. So looking out for things like that are, are quite useful. You can see that this is bad ice. go so the cannery is over there um, there's a major bridge in the distance there uh, there is a, um, a bear that patrols um, not on the bridge but underneath the bridge that is almost moving water uh, there's a couple of log bridges that you can see that that might help your your route across there's the radio tower and no we still can't see pensive look out from here so that's the second way into um sort of the bridge over there the second way into um, bleak inlet but as I, as I said if you if you're doing it for the first time and you want to be able to get into the cannery then you will need to go to the upper level first 
For me personally, I think that coming through to Bleak uh, on the lower level from Forlong, Forlorn is uh, a much longer route. My preference is to use uh, the ravine. And it takes some doing trying to traverse all the ice. There's some trailers down here. Found along the coastline around, we get into the cannery itself. There are plenty more bits and pieces to see in this region. Um, that's your yours to explore, as always. Now, once you do get to the cannery, it is patrolled by a wolf pack. <laughs> Come face to face. And I don't want to spoil any further, but there's some buildings and a little bit of a parkour puzzle for, for you to have a go at. So once you're ready to leave the cannery, we need to head back to the road here. And if we're going to remain on the lower level and exit via Forlorn Muskeg, then we need to head in this direction. So when you get to the road from the cannery, turn left. head up this hill this is um, a long route we're going to stick as best as we can to the coastline look for some specific markers so we'll head towards that trailer over there first off that's the washed out trailers pretty close to the coastline and I'm just going to run across here keeping the coastline on the go all the time I'm going to cross here Keep sticking to the coastline. And now 
and the frozen delta and we're going to do a quick run across here following this way some timber wolves in the distance. So we're trying to get sort of in that direction. Basically aiming for the mountains at the back and I think if I remember correctly somewhere near those waterfalls there's a, there's a hunter's blind so if we head towards that at least we're in the right sort of location then I would not like to be doing this with the timber wolves. we get to the back where it's not so bad then. So that that hunter's blind is a useful marker. Um, and as I say, we're heading towards that waterfall and the cave is, is just before that on this back wall, this back, this back rock face. Always marked by this tree. I always feel quite safe when I see that. And always a relief to leave Bleak Inlet. 
So we are now in the transition cave, which will take us to Forlorn Muskeg. There's only one entrance and one exit, so it's a little bit twisty turny, but you, you won't get lost. few side rooms as usual. The most important thing to look out for is there's actually a climb down. And that's what we'll be looking for. Here is a climb down. When you've climbed down, head left. Keep following it around. And here we are in Forlorn Muskeg. So to go back to the ravine, we're going to hang a right when we get back to the road. The cannery is behind us. I'm just going to follow the road. this view though. We've got the broken lighthouse over there. I do think it's it's lovely to look at. Okay, let's keep heading back. Going across Long Bridge at the moment. just following the road.
Now, as you get to these logs here, the road forks, and I would take the left fork. Hmm, where is the wind again? And just follow that around. You're basically looking for the rope that you deployed to get back up. I thought you could see a um, pensive lookout from here, but maybe not. As the road bends around that way, we kind of need to keep going straight on. So we're going to come off the road at this point. And there is the rope that we deployed. a long road so it won't allow you to climb if you're encumbered and if you do find that you're running out of energy like we are here we're going to stop stop off on the ledge and if you press the shift button you can see the stamina in the bottom right hand corner is going back up and we're going to wait till that's nearly full again. A little bit longer and then we'll, we'll proceed to climb the re remainder of the rope. Okay, we should be good. Once you're at the top of the road, you can see the pensive look out there. We go forward to we're on this sort of pathy stretch, and then we're going to head to the right. Wow, it's more straight over, more straight over. Where Mr. Wolf is. right here 
so where that that rock is with that pointy tree we're going to go to the the right of it safe cave uh, when we came in this way so if you do need to get your energy levels back up that is a good place to stop and, and rest and if not we're going to carry on up this hill There is a bunker there, and I did not know that. So we need to get to that uh, log bridge. So we should be able to get down here okay. Oops. Take it a little steadier than I did, obviously. the log bridge we will attempt to get back on the other log bridge we are limping our way back to the ravine And here we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Um, a little uh, insight into Bleak Inlet. Um, one or two spoilers. Really just to help those who really don't know anything about the region. Um, and as I, I said in the, the video, please check out the links that I put in the video description um and check out any any number of the the people that i recommend but certainly bashrobe bashrobe has a really comprehensive video on dealing with timber wolves and, and you will need to know that in any other level other than pilgrim hope to see you on the next video guys bye